This is a table that's supported by the very buckets that are resting on it. When I look at this, my brain flips between, oh, that makes sense, to, wait, that doesn't make sense, to, oh, wait, that makes sense, but wait, how does that work? Like, what happens when I add more weight to the table? What about if I add more weight to the buckets? In this video, I'm going to show you how pulleys can be so simple, yet so confusing at the same time. Why does this book stay balanced when the strings are uncrossed, but then if we cross the strings, the book falls? And also, is it possible to lift yourself up under your own strength with a pulley? You've all heard the idiom that to get ahead in life, you just need to lift yourself up by your bootstraps. This means that you need to be a self-made man. If you want something, you have to make it happen yourself. But what's funny about that idea is that the first time lifting yourself up by your bootstraps was used in the 1830s, it was meant to mean something that was impossible or absurd. So what is correct? Can you lift yourself up by your bootstraps? Well, by pulling on them, no. The harder you pull on them, the more the normal force pushes on you, so the forces always balance out and you stay put. So I grab the chair and start to lift. Notice how right when I start to lift, it goes to 180 pounds. So now I suddenly weigh 180 pounds. Now 200, 220, 240, 280, 300 pounds. But what if we get smarter about it? For example, if I have a pulley, is it possible to lift yourself up with a standard fixed pulley? Let's see what ChatGPT says about this. If I have only a fixed pulley and I'm standing on the ground and pull on the rope, can I lift myself off of the ground? With only a fixed pulley and you standing on the ground, you cannot lift yourself off the ground by pulling the rope. Okay, ChatGPT says it's not possible, but let's check what happens in real life. Okay, I've got my harness on, connected to the pulley up here. But before we continue, you know what all these pulleys remind me of? Fishing rods. There's nothing like the thrill of catching fish out there with the family. And that excitement of waiting for a bite is exactly what you get with today's sponsor, Fishing Clash. It's a mobile game where you can cast, catch, and battle in real time against players around the world. You can climb the leaderboards, take on clan wars, or just relax and enjoy exploring over 50 unique fisheries. Everything from tropical lagoons to icy fjords. The cool part is that it's easy to jump into, whether you've only got a few minutes or want to sink in for hours with the game. You can unlock new gear, collect rare species, and even take down boss fish that push your skills to the limit. And if you're someone who just wants a calming break, there's also serene locations and soothing sounds built right into the experience. I pinned my download link and the special gift code at the top of the description and in the comments. So use that code and you'll get a free $20 reward pack with exclusive items to give you a head start. You can just download the game, redeem the gift code, and you're ready to go. And thanks again to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. Let's see if I can actually lift myself up now. Three, two, one. <laughs> yep, I can. So I can lift myself, but it's very difficult to do. Fixed pulleys have no mechanical advantage. They just let you pull down to lift something up. If you want a mechanical advantage, you have to use something called a movable pulley. In this pulley, I have a bunch of pulleys all linked together. So as I pull on the rope, the bottom set of pulleys gets closer to the top set. That means each rope segment is sharing part of the weight. So instead of me holding up 100% of the load with one rope, the weight's divided among several ropes. Now let's try it with this. Oh. Yep, it's possible, and it's a lot easier. I can hold it with one hand and easily pull myself up. So I somehow magically made it easier for me to lift myself. But notice what the trade-off is. I have to move more rope. With each pull, I only move a little bit. If you calculate the work done with a fixed pulley versus a movable one, it's actually the same amount of total work. But since our muscles have limits, it's more possible to do with a movable pulley. So yes, you can lift yourself with your own bootstraps. You just need a complex bootstrap and of course something higher to hook it to. But movable pulleys like this are still not very easy to wrap your head around. For example, watch the speed of each rope of each individual pulley as I move the rope. Notice something odd. Each rope is moving slower than the one next to it. If it's one continuous rope, then how is some rope moving faster than other parts of the same rope? 
This one point made my brain hurt for a long time whenever I thought about pulleys learning about them. The confusion comes from the fact that this bottom set of pulleys is moving as we're moving the rope, and that changes everything. For example, let's take our fixed pulley here. You can see if the pulley is fixed, then the rope moves with the same speed on both sides. But now let's fix the rope and let the pulley move when I pull on the rope. You can see that one side of the rope is fixed and not moving, and the other one is moving. So the speed of the rope on one side is equal to the speed of the rope on the other side minus the speed of the pulley. So we can see that for each pulley the rope goes around, we have to subtract the speed of the pulley moving up. So the rope speed gets slower and slower and slower until at the very last pulley it's not moving at all. But even with this explanation, it still seems confusing when you look at it. But oh well, physics is under no obligation to conform to our intuition. Like this table here. It kind of intuitively seems like it shouldn't work, but it also seems like it should. For example, when I release the table, it gets raised up on the pulleys from the weight in the buckets, but then the buckets stop the table from going up anymore. <laughs> but what happens when I put more weights in the bucket? So I'm going to add about seven pounds to each bucket. I've added 26 more pounds to the table and it can still support itself just fine. The buckets push down harder which pushes the table up harder into the buckets, so nothing moves overall. So the more weight in the buckets, the more tension in the strings, yet nothing moves. Again, makes sense, but also feels a little wrong at the same time. But pulleys have a way of messing with our brains. For example, let's take this book connected to two pulleys and some weights on the other side of each pulley but the weights aren't quite heavy enough to hold up the book, unless we just do this. Then suddenly it balances perfectly. I can even do it so that when it's uncrossed, the weights weigh more than the book so the book goes up. But now, if I cross it, the book weighs more. So what's going on in this situation? Well, this book has a certain weight that's pulling directly down on the book. If these ropes don't pull directly up with exactly the same force as the weight of the book, it will fall down. So when the rope is straight, that works out fine. But when we cross it, the string is now pulling sideways with half of the weight of the book. So the force in the rope is the same, but some of the force is getting wasted tugging it sideways. And only a fraction of that force is being used to pull upward. Again, this makes sense, but it also just feels wrong. Physics like this can be weird because we built math and physics by using our intuition and logical truths. But then once we built that framework, we have to continue to trust it even when our intuition breaks down. Albert Einstein once said the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it's comprehensible. So we shouldn't be surprised when things don't feel intuitive. We should be more surprised that most of the time they do. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. And remember to download Fishing Clan with the link in my description. And don't forget to use my gift code on screen to grab your $20 reward pack for free.